So I'm with Margaret Dunn and Trisha Jabonski, the co-coordinators of the Porter Soup Kitchen's annual Turkey Christmas Dinner. But I have, uh, you've been telling me, well, it's not, it's a Christmas dinner, but it's going to be held at lunchtime. So tell me more about that, what's going on today. Well, today we're going to have a full turkey meal. It's going to be with all the trimmings. And um, we're anticipating 50 or more. And if you want to know what else is on the menu, we think you should just come on by and see. <laughs> so you're expecting about 50 people. How, um, who's going to be helping you guys? The both, uh, it can't be just the both of you serving that many people. That's for sure. <laughs> no, definitely. I actually won't be here serving tomorrow. But... Um, Neither will I, actually. It's a group of volunteers, four people from the Canadian Mental Health Association that volunteer with the soup kitchen on a regular basis, and uh, they're providing the turkey dinner for us. They do this every year that they've been with us. They did a nice one at Christ uh, Thanksgiving as well, so we're looking forward to their help. They're great. Yeah, they are. Really awesome. Couldn't do it without them. So what does the schedule look like for today? When does everything get started? Um, well, our volunteers get here by 10 a.m. and we open our doors by 11.15 and our lunch will be served from 11.30 till 12.30. So what exactly is on the menu? You are, we're kind of teasing there about it was uh, turkey and all the trimmings and people have to come out and find out. But uh, what exactly, what's the, what's the highlight of the menu that you'd say that people just can't miss? Margaret, over turkey. To you. I don't know. <laughs> turkey. I hear, I hear Carrie's sweet potato uh, casserole. Sweet potato. Yeah, I think that's is good. <laughs> and I think too that the dessert. It could be you know pie. It could be cake. I don't know. No, no one's I'm, telling I'm me for sure. sure. No. They're keeping it a big surprise even from us. So <laughs> it'll yeah. be good. It'll sweet be potato good. casserole does sound great. So why exactly are do you provide this meal every year? Um, well, for myself and with Margaret too, I believe that we feel it doesn't matter what day of the week it is, that everyone still needs a good meal. And at Christmas time especially, a lot of people are financially tied and um, aren't with their families and it's a lonely time of year. And I just feel for myself that it's just one way of them getting together and breaking bread some more <laughs> with each other but you know knowing that the community supports and cares about their situation so this is a a dinner for individuals that of course less fortunate mm -hmm. and uh, i'd like to know what can the community do to help you guys out with this event this year or maybe even you know in future years uh well for us we do all of our scheduling a month ahead of time so all of our people are covered for the month of December. Um, but we have had a few months in the past where we've had to close our doors, which we really don't like to do because we've been lacking volunteers. So our biggest need at this point would be volunteers. And the more the merrier. The commitment is from like 10 a.m. till about 1.15. And you could do that one day a week. You could do that five days a week. Whatever would work for you because we sure would welcome you in. Is there anything else you'd like to mention about... Uh your annual Christmas turkey dinner? No, <laughs> I guess not. You can't think about how great it's going to be and no. it's going to be a good time? In the future, though, I mean, if, if people are thinking ahead of time, if you yeah. wanted to donate some food, donate a turkey, or donate some food towards it, or even money, that, that's good, too. That, that's always helpful. Because we have, we have a lot of our food is donated, but um, there are things that we buy. Mm -hmm. um, cleaning supplies, eggs... Um, margarine, margarine, all kinds yeah, of yeah. condiments, that kind of stuff, and so we're, we're we always need money as well, and we are we um, can we're, we we give tax receipts. We are yeah. a charitable organization, right, right. so we do do offer. Yeah, so yeah. we're able to provide tax receipts for income tax purposes, yeah. and I mean every little bit helps. Uh, we get um, all of our like bread and baking stuff between the co-op and the supermarket. Panko's gives us like the ends of their meat so we can make sandwiches out of it. The Hutterites um, from a few different colonies around our area provide soup base. So then, you know, we start with our soup base and then add to it as well as the Women's Gel has helped us with that too. And it just doesn't stop. It's like random people will stop him with, um, you know, uh, I've got potatoes or I've got carrots. And I mean, by the bag falls. And when we have an abundance, then we just bring it out to the table here and share it up with everyone that comes and utilizes our service. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you very much, ladies. Thank you.